Hey guys, it's Sam for Rhizome Lab. Recently, one of you guys asked me if it was possible to hide faces or islands that had already been unwrapped in the 3D viewport. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to make a quick tip about this. Um, so let's go on over to the application and take a look. Okay, so here we are in Rhizome UV and I've got this simple model of a cup and saucer. So how would I go about hiding unwrapped parts of this object as I go along? Well, there's two ways to do this. So what you could do is select a part of your model, unwrap it, see it's unwrapped here, and then go up here and press the hide button. And then you can continue doing that until all your bits are done. A quicker way to do it via this method would be not to select it, actually just hover over the part you want to unfold, hit the U shortcut key, and you can see it's here, unfolded, and then hover over the same piece and press the H key, which is the shortcut for this hide button over here. So hover over this, press H, and then you could go along and do the same thing for the other part. So hover over and press U. We can see this is unfolded now, and then you could press the H key. Okay, we're back with our cup in its original state, and there is actually a better way to do this in my opinion, and that's to use these buttons up here. Here we can decide what is visible in our viewport, either 3D or flat or both. It's currently set to both. That is the default and the same in the UV view as well. So I'm going to actually choose 3D here. So what we can do now is hover over our handle here and press the shortcut U for unfold. And as soon as this has been flattened out and unfolded, it will disappear from this viewport because only 3Ds are visible in it. And we can continue to do this. U, U, U. I'm just going to back up and get back to our original state because not only can we have 3Ds visible in the 3D view, but we can do the same in the UV view for flats. So if we turn this to flat, nothing will be visible in here now and only flats will be visible. So if we go back over to our handle and press U, it now becomes visible in our UV view because it's flat. And I'll do the same with this section and this section. The upshot of this is that when we pack in our UV view, only the items that have been unfolded will be packed. Anything that's not visible will not be included in this calculation. So this is a really good way of um, keeping track of what you've flattened and what you haven't. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for video updates. You can check us out on social media, Discord, and our website, links in the description. And if you're looking for more Ryzen UV content, you can choose one of these videos on screen. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.